Hi, this is Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com or JessoScrappyCuts.com. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to assemble the baby buggy. I used my Gazelle by Boss Cut to, to cut out all of the pieces. In this particular baby carriage, I used K & Company cardstock watercolor bouquet. I like using double-sided, double-printed cardstock because then you have more of a, a choice on how to assemble your project. I'm as assembling the sides of the baby carriage right now and making sure that the center holes align properly. And you have to make sure all of those little pieces are poked out. I like to use my Tim Holtz poker to do that. You can find this file as well as others at either one of the sites. I'm layering the pieces and making sure all of those little holes are poked out. And again, using the center hole for proper alignment. And of course, you're going to make two sides. Now these are the wheels of the buggy. I actually cut out eight of the large circles and glue two together for each wheel. And then I add the inner circle and the decorative die cut circle. I make sure that the centers are aligned by using the center hole as a guide. I like using Scotch liquid glue, quick drying glue, because one thing I like to do things and get it done quickly. But however, you can use adhesive, a Xyron would work fine, but I tend to like the glue because of my experience with with Xyrons and adhesives and and that I stick where they're not supposed to stick. And as you can see, I dropped the decorative circle and left a big glue spot. And otherwise, if it would have been adhesive, it would have been sticking to that. The next thing you're going to do is add some brads or some adhesive dots or, or gems to the center of the wheel. I like to use the brads. This particular brad is from Oriental Trading and I don't think they sell it anymore. They're kind of fuzzy and they come in two different sizes and they look really nice with the buggies and the pastel colors. I put a lot of glue on those wheels because I want to make sure that they stick and they're sturdy. And so there's one, two, three of the large circle layers and then the inner circle and then the decorative circle. So there's five layers of, of cardstock for those wheels so they are pretty sturdy. When I put the glue on the wheels I like to walk my fingers around to make sure it's making contact with the entire portion of the buggy. Now here I'm going to decorate the sides of the buggy where the holes are. There's extra holes in those die cuts and I'm using liquid pearls. At, I have used the adhesive pearls but they take so much time and also it had to, my fingers are so uncoordinated that I they stick everywhere else but where they're supposed to stick. Here I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I'm not using her score. I prefer to use this one. It's a by Recollections and it's ergonomically correct. And then you're going to fold the, cre the, the score lines and so all the triangles are facing up. Give it a little uh, bending to give it some help. Now I'm going to use my ATG gun to put adhesive along the edge of the semicircles. You don't need a strong adhesive because you're going to be covering these up again with glue. And then aligning the side, walking the side of the, the bottom of the cradle to match the edges of the semicircle. Each file is really precise and a lot of planning went into making these files so there's no guessing, there's no room for mistake. See, it looks pretty nice. Now 
And now this is the handle of the buggy. You can use a scoreboard to score the center, but I tend to not get them centered properly, so I think just folding it works fine for me. And then gluing the centers, gluing the inside so they stay together. I like to double it just to give them a little bit more sturdiness. Now I glue these on the outside of the cradle so that it will have a nice finished look on the inside. And now attaching the, the side of the, of the buggy, aligning up those center holes again. So you can see that using the ATG adhesive isn't a bad idea for us assembling the cradle because it's it's getting glued down again. It's coming together quite nicely. Now this is the top portion of the baby buggy, the canopy. As you can see, I'm using Martha Stewart's scoreboard again just to make a folding line. The line does not have to be creased just to make sure that they fold all in a, in a straight line. Now the back of this canopy is is rounded and just to show you that that is the back of the buggy. And then I start from the back flap and then I overlap the next flap onto it, aligning up the circle at the bottom of the flaps. And then I'm adding a decorative strip so it'll be matching the sides of the 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 buggy. Now yeah, you do put the brad in from the back so it looks nice in the inside of the buggy. And you will cover up those brad legs, so don't worry. Now again, you do repeat yourself on the other side, overlapping each flap on top of each other, aligning it with a circle. And then again, inserting the brad from the inside of the buggy, going to the out, and then securing it by spreading the legs of the brad. It looks, I'm sorry, it's on the side of the screen. I forget to keep my hands in the middle. And I like to put a little bit of glue on top just to secure that strip so it doesn't move around a lot. There, it's looking pretty nice. Now I'm going to cover up those brad legs by using a bow. I bought these bows at Michael's in the baby department. My scrapbooking buddies always laugh at me because I tend to have the zots everywhere but on the paper product. They they like to get on my arms and my clothes and on the floor and on the desk, but it looks like I made it okay this time <laughs> around. These are the strong zots, not the, the thin, thin dots. These are the big glue dots. Now this is the handle and it's a bamboo skewer that I cut. I had to peel it just a tad bit so the the bead would fit and sometimes you may have to do that and then I glue it on. As you can see that the the side of the the handle was just a little bit crooked but securing it to the bead makes it straighten up again. Oh it looks like it's tar it's torquing really well. So now I'm going to decorate the strip with a liquid pearl so it matches the side of the buggy. It's coming along really nice. I think it's really cute. But I think I forgot something. Hmm, what's wrong? Oh, yes, I remember. It is those bamboo edges. So I just cover it up with the liquid pearls. So it finishes nice. Turned out really cute. I like it. Now I'm going to show you some of the other baby carriages that I've made. This is the blue one, and I believe this was Heidi Swap paper. And then a pink one, again from that watercolor bouquet paper from KN Company. Now imagine this baby carriage in Christmas colors and hanging as an ornament. Wouldn't that be cute? You can use these to put candy in for baby shower favors, gift boxes, package toppers. This is the one that we just finished. Isn't it turned out cute? 
Thank you for watching our video and I hope you come and visit us. Bye.